Good evening of the day. My name is Navin Rajanandan. My metric number is CF200214 and I'm from section 4. We are from group 6 from section 3 and section 4. Let me introduce our group members. We are uh, 5 of us. Indrajit, me, Navin, Sadish Rao, Pivashni and Yuvin Rao. Our group to decided to do the application of the interpolation method. Background of the project Our project described as the application of interpolation in civil engineering by creating a problem statement which is required to solve using the linear interpolations. In mathematics, linear interpolation is a method of curve fitting using the interpolynomials to construct a new data points within the range of discrete set of known of data points. So basically, we are going to come as problem statement which are relating to the civil engineering problem and we're going to solve by using in numerical maths by which is the interpolation method problem statement our problem statement we choose the location is the Johor Bahru Eastern dispersal link expressway we have found that the detailed rainfall data is required for the project to calculate the surface runoff this area this runoff is a major source of flooding and water pollution in urban communities. In previous surface, such as like roads, parking lots, roof loft, or sidewalks are constructed during the land development. So during the very rain heavy rainstorms or other precipitation events happens, this surface is normally polluted by the storm water to storm drains. Instead of allowing water to percolate the soil, many are dispersal to the housing area also. Most numerical storm sewer system discharge the storm water without the treatment into the streams, rivers and other water, water bodies. Urban water uh, runoff carries a mixture of a such pollution as a sentiments, fertilizers, bacteria and metals and many more substances. Our main objective of study is to investigate the rainfall data near the Johor Bahru area. We're going to investigate the rainfall data by using the applying the linear interpolation method in solving the in interpolation problem. Our case study is basically we carried out the annual precipitation or the rainfall gauge was measured for the station in 2020 from May to November and the three months is located at the new location due to the change in the land used to that make it impractical to maintain the gorge at the old location. For the fifth month, which is on the September, the gorge was not collecting and the data due to the process of set of new location so that missing data for the next month and the data was collected as usual for the following next month. So we have conducted a solution to find approximate data for the fifth month, which is the September month. Good morning, Doctor. My name is Indraji, son of Nagindran. My metric number is CF2032. I am from Section 4. Today, I am going to present the literature review. Lagrange interpolation on real-world data sets with many points fails horribly. Even tiny rounding or measurement errors in the middle of the sequence will blow up into instant oscillation of the interpolated function at the end. Lagrange interpolation also can be useful for producing an approximation of the underlying function. So the bottom one is the function that we use for in Lagrange interpolation calculation. The next one is the filler table. Filler table, the first column is actually the fact, which is surface runoff data is important before the starting a project at a specific area. So the idea is, is which is collect detailed rainfall data of the area. So from there, the learning issue is what is the equipment needed to collect rainfall data and the second one is the, what is the formula or the method to or calculate the rainfall data accurately. So the results that they needed to proceed the calculation is data from previous studies or researchers, books and websites and requesting the rainfall data from Department of Irrigation and Drainage. The second fact is excessive runoff at urban area can cause flood and damage to personal properties. So for the for that fact is the idea is proposed to build better flood prevention system. The learning issue for the second one is what is the data that needed before building the system and what are the important characteristics of the system so that it is efficient to prevent flood from occur. 
So the resources that we need is to referring the Department of Irrigation and Drainage and also refer to other examples of flood prevention system from other states or countries abroad. The last fact is rain gauge at a certain point of catchment area not functioning. So the idea is use a specialist method to obtain the missing data. So the learning issues is what is the method to calculate the missing data and also the accuracy of the method is high. The last one of the learning issue is does the method is approved by other researchers. So the resources needed is reference from book about hydrology and mathematics. And the last one is past thesis studies about the issue. That's all for me. I'd like to pass to the next presenter. Hi, my name is Tibashini, Dr. Fravi, matrix number CF200190 from session for numerical methods. Methodology. This chapter examines the problem statement. The data of many precipitation at Johor Bahru is recorded from May to November 2021. The monthly precipitation data on September 2021, which is not in data set, is to be determined. Interpaction is required to estimate the missing data for September 2021 within the range of data available throughout the year. The interpaction that can be used to solve the problem by using the quadratic equation of approximate, uh, approximation Fourth order or the Lagrange interpolating polynomial that passes through the five points. Following are the methods used to estimate the missing data. Step 1 collect data for monthly precipitation from May to November 2021. Step 2 construct the data in table form. Step 3 find the L0, L1, L2, L3, and L4, and x equal to 9 uh, since it's a September without its interacting polynomial in terms of x. Step 4, counter check with formula sum of n Li times with the missing month equal to 1. And finally, evaluate F9 with formula P for x equal to L0 x F0 plus L1 x F1 plus L2 x F2 plus L3 x F3 and plus with L4 x F4. Hello. Uh, my name is Yuen Rao, Analaki Subramaniam, and my metric number is CF200196, and I'm from Section 3 Numerical Mathematics. So, uh, today I'll be talking about how to do the calculation based on the data that we have collected. So, the first step that we have done is uh, we collected the data that we have get, which is this. So, the first step is we construct the data into a table format, which is this i with not I with not 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then with x, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 10, and also fx equals to 200, 162, 155, and 188, and the end is 2 to 1. So we carry on with step 2. So we are using the Lagrange interpolation method, which is we, we have to find the L0, L1, L2, L3, and L4, and x equals to 9. So without its interacting by polynomial in terms of x. So this is how we have done the calculation in hand. After done all of this, then we proceed with step 3. So step 3 as we are going to check the purpose of the calculated data. So we have done this L i x equals to 1, which is we calculate all from L0 till L4 uh, with the x equals to 9, which is equals to 1. And we get it. And after we check, it's equals to number one so we proceed with the step four which is to evaluate the f9 so when evaluating the f9 we found that the monthly precipitation rainfall on september 2019 is 232.3 millimeter thank you we can proceed to the next slide my name is sadesh rao samudram and my matriculation number is cf200195 and i'm from section four discussion Based on the surface runoff in this study area is calculated by using the detailed rainfall data. The runoff is a major source of flooding and water pollution in urban communities. We have used the quadratic equation of approximation which is the fourth order used to solve the problem. Data below shows that the monthly precipitation from May to November in the year 2021. Therefore, by knowing the monthly precipitation, the pedestrian will easy to plan their journey during those months. This is because runoff is a major source of flooding and water pollution in urban areas. Conclusion Conclusion 
The surface runoff can be calculated by calculating the monthly precipitation using the detailed rainfall data. The calculation is calculated by using the Lagrange interpolation method in numerical method of mathematics. From the data, we solve we to solve the problem of loading, water pollution, and construct building above the float levels. There are several ways to prevent the problem data, which is restore the rivers to their natural courses. It can increase the length and reduce the impact of floating. Thank you.